Today, we're taking a trip around the world to discover some of the most exotic flowers on the planet. From corpse flowers that smell like rotting flesh to dancing plants that move in the sunlight, get ready to be amazed by the incredible diversity and weirdness of the plant kingdom. Number 10. Corpse Flower First up, we have the aptly named Corpse Flower, also known as the Rafflesia arnoldii. This parasitic plant is famous for holding the record for the world's largest flower. Imagine a flower bigger than a basketball, that's the corpse flower. But size isn't its only claim to fame. This smelly superstar attracts pollinators with a powerful odor resembling decaying flesh. Gruesome? Maybe. Effective? Absolutely. Number 9. Giant Water Lily Next, we dive into the watery world of the giant water lily, the Victoria Amazonica. This aquatic giant boasts enormous circular leaves that can rival the size of a small car. Strong and buoyant, these lily pads can even hold a surprising amount of weight. But the giant water lily isn't just about leaves. It produces magnificent fragrant flowers that change color from white to deep pink or red as they mature. Number 8. Welvichia mirabilis Prepare to be amazed by the Welvichia mirabilis, also known as the living fossil. This survivor thrives in the harsh Namib desert and is a true botanical oddity. With only two continuously growing strap-shaped leaves throughout its entire life, the Welvichia can live for thousands of years, making it one of the longest living plants on Earth. It's a testament to adaptation and resilience in one of the most challenging environments on our planet. Number 7. Dancing Plant Let's move on to something a little more whimsical. The Dancing Plant, or Cadariocalyx matorius. This fascinating plant has a pair of small leaves at the base of a larger leaf that rhythmically raise and lower in a seemingly choreographed dance. They can even complete a full cycle in just a few minutes. Sunlight is the primary trigger for this movement, but scientists believe touch or sound might also play a role. It's a captivating example of how plants can respond to their environment. Number 6. Ghost Orchid Now let's explore the hauntingly beautiful Ghost Orchid, also known as the Dendrophylax lindeni. This orchid is a spectral silhouette due to its lack of leaves and chlorophyll, the green pigment for photosynthesis. Because of this, it gets its nutrients from a special type of fungus in a symbiotic relationship. The ghost orchid's beautiful white flowers typically bloom at night, emitting a sweet, fruity fragrance to attract night-flying pollinators like moths. It's a truly unique and endangered orchid species. Number 5. Resurrection Plant From the shadows, we jump to the deserts to meet the resurrection plant, also known as the Selaginella lepidophylla. This botanical Lazarus has a remarkable talent. It can seemingly cheat death by drying out completely and then springing back to life when water is available. During dry periods, it curls up into a tight ball and waits for rain. When water arrives, it transforms back into a lush green plant within a few hours, earning its name Resurrection Plant. Number 4. Traveler's Palm The Traveler's Palm, or Ravenala madagascariensis, is native to Madagascar and is not actually a true palm tree. It's known for its distinctive fan-shaped leaves, resembling a traveler's fan. While the name suggests it provides drinking water for travelers, the amount collected is minimal and unreliable. However, the large leaves have various uses in Madagascar, from roofing and thatching to weaving mats and bags. Number 3. Puya Raimondi High in the Andes Mountains, we encounter the Puya Raimondi, also known as the Queen of the Andes. This magnificent bromeliad is a true giant, with flower stalks reaching a staggering 15 meters tall. That's taller than a five-story building. The Puya Raimondi is not only impressive in size, but it also produces a spectacular bloom of hundreds, even thousands, of small white flowers. However, this flowering event 
marks the end of its life cycle as the Puya Raimondi is a monocarpic plant, meaning it flowers only once after reaching maturity, which can take up to 100 years. Number 2. Jade Vine The breathtaking jade vine or Strongyloden macrobotrys. This leguminous vine, native to the Philippines, is a showstopper with cascading clusters of vibrant turquoise or greenish-blue claw-shaped flowers. Imagine a waterfall of shimmering jewels. That's the mesmerizing effect of the jade vine in full bloom. While it thrives in tropical environments, making it a greenhouse favorite, its striking appearance and rarity make it a coveted treasure for plant enthusiasts worldwide. Number 1. Udumbara Flower For our final stop, we delve into the realm of legend and rarity with the Udumbara Flower, also known as the Yutan Poluo. Shrouded in mystery and symbolism, this tiny, white, tulip-shaped flower is said to bloom only once every 3,000 years. While there's debate about its exact botanical classification, its appearance on a host plant is a cause for much celebration in some cultures. In Buddhist tradition, the Udumbara flower symbolizes auspiciousness, immortality, and the enlightenment of a Buddha. Its rarity aligns with the concept of achieving enlightenment, a challenging yet transformative journey. The flower's delicate beauty and symbolic significance make it a truly unique addition to our exploration of the world's most captivating blooms. So there you have it, folks. From the putrid to the beautiful, these exotic flowers showcase the incredible diversity and wonder of the plant kingdom. Nature never ceases to amaze us with its creativity and resilience. I hope you enjoyed this exploration of the world's most fascinating flowers. If you have any favorite exotic flowers you'd like to share, leave a comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more exciting botanical adventures. And see you again next video.